Right now, we are two months away from the November election. Ohioans will vote on abortion rights and legalizing recreational marijuana. Thanks for staying with us tonight at 530. I'm Yolanda Harris. Andrew has the night off. A new lawsuit is now sparking controversy surrounding what one issue will look like on the November ballot. 10 TV's Ashley Bornanson spoke with lobbyists today who are debating the new issue one. And Ohio voters deserve to see the full amendment language. Tonight, a debate not on the right to have an abortion, but what the November ballots will say. Ohioans United for Reproductive Freedom filed a lawsuit against the GOP-led Ohio Ballot Board after voters declared recent changes made by the Secretary of State's office did not reflect what petitioners pushed for. So we filed this lawsuit because the ballot board um, intentionally created misleading language that fails to meet the requirements of Ohio law. The original language states the right to reproductive freedoms, including contraception, fertility treatment, pregnancy, abortion, and miscarriage care. States abortions may be prohibited after fetal viability and uses the word fetus. The latest version only lists abortion, removing any other reproductive procedures. States abortions would be allowed at any state of pregnancy, regardless of viability, and uses the words unborn child. President of the anti-abortion group Ohio Right to Life, Mike Gonadakis, says the lawsuit is just a distraction. At the end of the day, a ballot board, which I would say a vast majority of Ohioans don't even know exist, met and they did what the Constitution requires them to do. It's less than 200 words. They put it together and that's what people will see when they walk in to cast their ballot or if they do early voting. Kelly Copeland of Ohioans for Reproductive Freedom also says the language is a distraction, but from what she says is the core issue. We must pass issue one to prevent abortion from being banned in our state without exception. She expects the court's response in the next few weeks. I am extremely hopeful because I know that Ohioans trust themselves and their families to make their own reproductive health care decisions. We're telling Ohioans, even pro-choice women, that you can be pro-choice and vote no on this. This is a bridge too far and too radical for Ohio. In Columbus, Ashley Bornanson, 10 TV News. Well, to read the amendment in full, just head to our website, 10tv.com slash featured links.